Hi, so I'm Russell and this is how we put together the Eco Stoves cooktop. The cooktop comes, I've already unpacked it from the box. You'll have a base plate, top plate. These pieces sit on top afterwards. We've got all the side panels. We've got a little package of um, bolts. There's just eight of these. I'm just going to undo. Okay, and we'll just check. We've got all eight. And there'll be two long rods like this. This is not exactly the right one, but I'm just going to show you. There'll be two long rods which have these dome nuts. Now, I'm just showing you because you want to take these dome nuts off. And this is how I do it. Um, I'm going to put the bumping bit towards me. And I'll use the dome nuts as little razors underneath the unit. So just put the four corners. Right, so that's sitting up now. And you'll see why that's interesting. I take these two side panels that have the two holes, small holes, right? With the holes facing down. And they slot into the sides. Like so. Now this piece is only one like that. I put the notch facing down and it's on the side with the back piece. So that just slots in like that. Okay, I'll get the other long piece, that's the front panel. And I'm always looking to see which is the nicer face and I just put the nice face shine, uh, facing outwards. Okay, so we've got all the pieces just hanging in there like that. And you see why I put the razor, the little pot, because it just means the slots can pop in really easily. Now this is the back of the exhaust pipe. Slots in like so. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. I'm just gonna straighten that up, and both of those at the same time, and just hold that in place. And I get these one of these little side panels and I just drop it down, line up the bottom slot first, and you'll see that it's lined up but it's not quite in. So I've just got to click that, push it down, and see how this clicked in. Very easy. Same with this side. I line up the bottom two slots first, make sure that slot's lined up and then just push it down, it just clicks in very easily. That just pushes in like that. And the front, I'm just gonna use my belly to hold that in place front lines up like that. Now, if you find it gets a little bit tricky like that keeps dropping out, you can just use a little bit of masking tape just to hold that in place. Or you do this next step, which is to drop the top panel on top of all those slots. Just with a little jiggle, boom, there it is. Now, we've got eight of these. One side's got a dome nut, the other side's got a flat nut. I like the domes at the top, I think they look better. That's why I didn't like that. Drop one down, oops, you can't lift it like that. Now, this is where it's a bit tricky, obviously, to do that, to get my finger under there. So what I'm gonna do is hold the top and bottom. I'm gonna just tip it up on its edge, carefully. And now I can get to the bottom side where I wanna put on these flat nuts. Twist it finger tight. Make sure the dome's done up fully first. Slide it through. Sometimes it's a bit easier from the inside. Line it up. Flat nut. I always put the flange towards the material. Right, so the flange is that little wide bit. So that's, with the flange you don't need a washer, that's why there's no washers. And so there's eight of these. And I just work my way around. Like so. I'm just doing it finger tight first and then we can tighten it with a spanner afterwards. In the stove set you will notice that there are two kind of hook like tools which also have notches uh, to be used as a spanner. So you can, if you haven't already, you can open up the stove box and grab that out and it's got the right size notches to do these up. Just in case you don't have a spanner on hand. Right, 
So just, now that I've got a few of these in place, and if, we, if the thread's a little bit sticky, I've had to hand cut every single one of these bolts and polish every corner. So I'll try it and I'll check every one. So I know that they do work, but if it gets a little bit sticky, sometimes it's just because a little bit of grit gets in the thread. So if you just even spin it in your fingers or spin it on a bit of carpet, just to clear the grit out, quite often that just makes it easier. See how that just slides on and off then. Okay, now I'm just gonna rotate this so that I can easily get to the other holes. Pop that through there. If you find, like this one, that the thread is just a little bit short, then what you can do is just loosen a little bit of thread off the top of the dome. There's a lot of thread in the dome itself, uh, a lot more than it needs. See how that just extended the thread? So then you can just use that to make sure you've always got enough thread. Oops. Put that on there. It's wobbling. Okay, two more. Last one. Okay, now this is the easiest assembly, so I thought we'd start with this one. For those of you with the cooktop, if you've just got the stove and not getting a cooktop, then you don't need to watch this video. All right, so that's the unit. Then the flue pipe obviously sits on there. We've got three pieces that look like this, and they will fit together with just a little bit of jiggling and that just drops in there. So obviously I would do that last. And this is the adapter plates for one pot and two pot and they simply sit on top. I don't use them together, I use one or the other. Like so.